Hey everybody, this is Jefferson Lewis here, um, and welcome to my basics final cut tutorial thingy, majiggy, whatever we're going to call it. Um, we're going to be going over a lot of the basics in the final cut. The version we're using is 10.3. So let's continue on with quick keys. Uh, that's going to be the first lesson. So our first quick key we're going to go over um, is the playhead. So just pressing play and stop. That's spacebar. So by pressing uh, spacebar it will start and stop your footage okay the next one's gonna be the arrow tool and by the way these are in priority level mainly off of how frequently I use this stuff also all of the quick keys are gonna be in the description as well so um, yeah these are just ones that I use typically so let's say we're on zoom just for example for now um, again a would be to switch to your regular arrow tool okay the next one is B that's the blade tool. I use that a lot. This is so that you can cut up footage. Um, the next one after that is P, position tool, and that's what makes the timeline not magnetic anymore, and you can just kind of insert things around and mix things up. Um, the next one is the trim tool, T, which lets you go in and kind of scrub footage along where it is on the inside. Um, so see, I could kind of move where the footage is without moving where the clip actually lays on the timeline. Um, another one I could use next, the another, next quick key is uh, Command Z, so that's undo, so I can undo as much as I want in Final Cut. Um, and the next one is Command Shift Z, if I didn't mean to take something away, um, I can put something back, that's redo. Uh, next is to copy, so let's say if I want to copy this whole clip, it's Command C. I can then move the playhead over here, Command V to paste it. All right. The next thing is Command Shift V. So let's say I've added some effects to this, like let's say this 50 50s TV, and maybe I've done some audio adjustments, for example. Maybe it's a little lower um, or whatever. And but I don't want to, and I want to copy the visual effect to this clip, but I don't want to copy the audio. This is what I would do. I first do Command C on this clip. Then I will go to the next clip and do Command Shift V. And when I do that, it lets me select the attributes that I want to copy. So I would, you know, not change, take the audio, but I could take that 50s TV effect, press paste, and then my audio is the same, but I get the same 50s TV effect. And then we can undo all that stuff. And then um, the next one is uh, cut, which is pretty easy. Um, let's say I want to cut this. I would do Command X. And then I can go somewhere and Command V again and, and paste it back on. Um, the next quick key we're going to use is uh, the cut is in point and out point. So when you're in your library, I use this all the time. Um, in your footage library, I would press as I'm watching. I may find a part that I like. I start with I press I for an in point. I watch for a little while and then I press O for an out point. And uh, that way I can then take that and drag it into my timeline wherever I want. Okay, so endpoints and outpoints, those are, are pretty typical. Um, also, if I only want to export, let's say, just a small section, like I could do endpoint, and then let's say to here, outpoint, and then when I export, it would only export the section that I've created endpoints and outpoints for. All right, so that's um, I and O. So yeah, then the next one is um, Command 6, and that's what will bring up your color tool. So when you are have a clip selected, um, in your timeline, you would press Command 6 and it will bring up your color bands, color board, um, and you can adjust exposure, saturation, and color of high, mids, and lows. Um, so that's that. And then the next one would be, I use all the time, is Command 7. So Command 7 brings up my color scopes, so your vector scopes, waveforms, all that stuff. Um, I generally use uh, RGB Parade uh, waveform. And you would select RGP Parade right here. Um, sometimes by default, it'll be on like, I don't know, Luma. Um, but I just like to use RGB Parade because I can see my colors. And that's really good for making sure that I, my white balance is correct and all that stuff. Um, next is, let's see, zoom in and zoom out um, on the timeline. They used to have like a little bar down here to let me zoom in and zoom out. But I don't see where that is anymore. So I've just started to use the quick keys. So command minus will zoom out like that. Command plus or equal sign, whatever I'm using, will um, will zoom me back in. So minus out, equal sign in. And you just hold command and you press either one of those two buttons. They're right next to each other, so it's pretty simple. 
Next is, let's see, ah, to lay a clip on top of something. So let's say I wanna lay this clip on top of my current timeline, but I wanna use a quick key to do it. What I just do is I press Q and pop it, pops right onto the top of the timeline like that. Um, the next way to do it is to insert a clip uh, wherever the playlet head is, it'll just insert it right in. And to do that, uh, you press W. W. Boom. So it is inserted the clip. Um, let me zoom in so you can see a little better. Uh, just directly in that space. Okay. Let's undo. And then the next one is E, which will insert a clip at the end of a storyline. So if we press E, it just goes to the end. If you notice, see it, it, it popped it over here on the end. I'll do undo, I'll do it again. Click here, press E, puts it at the end of the storyline, wherever the ending is. All right, next, um, there's D, which is overwrite. So I could be here or something, and it, instead of inserting and making the clip move to the side, because um, again, on the insert, if I press uh, W, uh, it kind of moves this over. But if I press uh, D to overwrite, it just puts it directly over. It doesn't move anything over, and it just kind of plops into place there. Those four keys on, on putting clips in, I generally don't use. I like to click and drag, but that's just me. You know, but those, they're keys you can use. Um, next is new project. Um, you'll be using that pretty much often. So that's just Command N, and you can get to your project window, so you can do a new project. Um, the next one is new event, which is Alt N. So Alt N, and you can make a new event. Um, the next one to that is uh, Alt G. Um, and what that does is it lets you uh, create a compound clip within your event. So let's say I have like these three clips selected, um, and I want to do a compound clip. I would just do Alt G, and then I could say yes, and I've got a compound clip. It's another pretty quick one. And then next uh, is Shift Command N for a new folder. This is good for when you're doing logging. So make sure you're in the right event. You say Shift Command N and you've got a folder. So and we can call this folder um, Click Folder. <laughs> oh, that's definitely spelled wrong. Um, folder. There we go. All right. And then next <clears throat> we have uh, shift command K, which is new keyword collection, which you'll be using a lot if you're logging. So shift command K, and we could put keys, you know, and when you're important footage, you could uh, take things and add portions of things to your keyword collections that you like. All right, and then that way, keep things more organized. Uh, and then next, last one. Oh, no, that is the last one. Keep in mind, too that you can also go up into, I believe it's uh, commands, customize. And in here, you can actually go through and customize any keys to do whatever you want. Um, like for example, sometimes I'll change the zoom in and zoom out, zoom out to uh, command one and command two, because I just like using my left hand for it instead. Um, but the world is yours on that. And have fun editing, you guys. That's, this is the first episode here, and we're going to continue this series and learn some more things. All right, guys. This has been Jefferson Lewis. See ya.